Hey everyone, Liam Motley here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how to connect your custom GPTs to WhatsApp in literally minutes without writing a single line of code. Many of you have already been making awesome GPTs for your personal use or for your clients as well. But at the end of the day, they're still stuck on the ChatGPT site and that limits their value. So I'm gonna be showing you how to break it out of that ChatGPT site today in just a few minutes and put it on WhatsApp where you have access to over 2 billion monthly active users, which creates so much more valuable for your clients and allowing you to make more money by selling these kind of custom GPTs solutions. Once you have this key skill that allows you to connect custom GPTs to WhatsApp, you can start selling things like WhatsApp customer support agents or WhatsApp lead generation agents or even appointment setters on the WhatsApp platform that so many hundreds of millions of businesses are in the market for right now. I'm going to keep this short and sweet and I'll also be giving away a perfect prompt generator tool for all of your AI agents, which is going to save you a ton of time as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so to do this integration, we're going to be using my own platform Agentive. Now before you get mad at me, I'm not going to charge you a dime. It doesn't cost anything to use. I've built this to be able to streamline this process for all of you and make it free to you. So if you've seen my other video on this, I did it about a year ago. Um, I had to use like four different platforms and it took 20 minutes to do the video. And what we've done with Agentive is basically boil all of that down so that you just click a couple of times and it goes straight onto WhatsApp. So I built this to save you so much time as an AI automation agency owner and not having to need to code. So I've done all the hard work for you. You can sign up for free and put things on WhatsApp immediately and a ton of other cool features that we can get into. But the link to sign up to Agentive will be in the description below. And then you can click here to register and register with a Google account or Facebook and go through. I've already got an account, of course, so I'm just gonna log in with Google here. In order to complete your registration and get access to Agentive, you need to provide your own OpenAI API key. The reason for this is that what we're building on top of is the assistance API from OpenAI. So GPTs is the consumer facing version of custom GPTs where you can add your knowledge, your prompting, your tools, etc. It's all on the ChatGPT site and you can get access to it all through a nice graphical editor, right? That's a great interface to use. But in order to be able to interact with those GPTs programmatically and put them on a website and put them on WhatsApp, whatever, OpenAI has what's called the Assistance API. And what Agentive is, is it allows you to use that API, but through a graphical editor so that you don't have to know how to code. So you have to provide that OpenAI key because we're going to be building on top of OpenAI's platform here. So it's completely safe. You can get your key by going to platform.openai.com. There'll be a link down below as well. You can come up to this top left and create a new project. I've got mine called Agentive here. And if you click on dashboard and go API keys, you can create a new API key in here. And then if you haven't already, you'll need to go to the settings and go to billing, make sure you've added a payment method that's valid. And then if you want to get access to all of the models that are available, you need to come here and click on buy credits and drop $5 into your account. And of course, keep in mind, you are going to be billed by OpenAI for the usage of the agents that you build on Agentive. And even though the models are so cheap now, it's literally going to cost you a few dollars a month to be testing and playing around. You can still set a limit here on how much you want to spend per month in the limit section. So once you have your OpenAI API key, you can complete your registration on Agentive. You'll be taken to a page that looks like this, and then we can get into the building. So first things first, we want to create a new agent here. I'm going to call it Bill's Balloon Outlet, Bill's Balloon Support Bot. And we'll give it a description. So to keep this video short and sweet, I'm just going to be showing you a customer support bot example so that we can add a document to a knowledge base that'll be able to answer questions in that way. So ton more stuff you can do. I'll put a video up here if you want to see some other functionality like lead generation. But coming back to our create agent screen here, we can click on the open AI API key that we want to use. You can add multiple to your account in Agentive. The agent model, let's use the newest one, GPT-40 mini. Again, you'll have to have added credits to your account. Just $5 or so will be enough to unlock all of those newest models. And then we're taken to the studio page here where we can provide our prompt, our knowledge, and our tools. We're not going to be using tools in this build, but we are going to be doing a prompt and a knowledge base. Now, first things first, with creating any good high-performing AI agent is a killer prompt. Now, this can take a long time. Here's our dummy prompt um, that we provide. You need a lot of detail explaining how to use the knowledge base, what it's supposed to be doing etc so to do this i've created a tool for you all that you can get for free on my school community it'll be in the first link in the description you go to youtube resources and you'll be able to get access to this um, what this tool does is takes in a bunch of information about your agent and what you want it to do for example the name the context eg whatsapp agent with customer support conversion context eg are you trying to book an appointment or capture a lead in this case no knowledge context what documents are in the knowledge base in this case we have a faq for bill's balloon outlet which i'll put on the school community also if you want to copy this thing exactly so I've filled all this out. We've got no tools. I've given it a few um, input output examples and some notes as well. So the prompt that this tool uses and takes in all of these inputs applies all of the best AI agent prompting practices from my own agency, Morningside AI. So you guys get to have all of this for free. You fill this form out. And when you click run tool, it's going to take all of that in. And in a few seconds, provide you a high quality, perfect prompt for your AI agent that accurately describes the behavior that you want from it and here we have it a role task specifics tools examples all the good stuff i'm not going to bore you with that but what we can do here is get the markdown version copy it 
take it over to this. I'll put this on the school community if you want to copy it exactly, but the tool more importantly will be on the school community for you to use. Then we have our prompt set up. Now I want to add a knowledge base. I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call this uh, Bill's Balloons Outlet. I'm going to build it on that API key. Now I have a knowledge base that I can upload my FAQ to. It's all processed and ready to go. This document will be on the school community as well if you want to follow along. And then we have the option to add tools in as well. So in this case, you'd probably want to put a maybe a order tracking number where they can provide the order number and the name. And then the support bot on WhatsApp will be able to check their order based off your like after ship tracking data. We don't have time for that in this video. I'm just going to focus on the WhatsApp integration. So prompt in there, knowledge in there. We can now publish it and set this thing live. And of course, as you go through editing this prompt and knowledge base, you can ask it questions. Uh, where are you based? And you'll be able to test the functionality of your agent right here in Agentive without even putting it on WhatsApp first. So once you're happy with the functionality, you can go to the deploy tab here. You can then click connect WhatsApp. I'm going to click continue, get started. You will of course need a Facebook business manager to set up this integration fully. That's free with every Facebook account. So if you haven't got one already, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can set it up, takes a few clicks. Then you will see this page here and you can select the business manager you've created. In this case, I'll be using this testing one. And then you'll be able to set up a new WhatsApp business account, which I can click here. I'll go next, set up a business account name. And then this is the display name for the business. And we're going to call this a, a retail business. Now you need to provide the phone number that you want to connect your agent to. Um, unfortunately, you can't have your own personal WhatsApp number and also have a business account running through it. So you're going to need to either buy another SIM card or borrow a friend's number who doesn't have WhatsApp, etc. In this case, I'll be using a spare number that I have. Then they're going to send you a verification code to your number, which you have to enter in. And then you should see the screen once you've successfully passed that verification. So we can continue. It's verifying our information for a second. And now our agent is connected to that phone number and we're ready to give it a test. So if we go finish here, there's one more thing that we need to do on Agentive, which is to click this. Yours may say not registered. Don't worry, you can just click this checkbox here and click confirm. Give it a second to connect. And now we've successfully connected our agent to that WhatsApp number. Now, the thing here is this interval. If you're not sure what the interval is, you can read this tool to appear. And if you're done with the deployment and you want to remove it from that number, you can always come back and click deactivate deployment here. But all that's left to do now is to test our functionality. So here we are on WhatsApp. I had to first add that number as a contact on my iPhone. So I can come on here and say, hello, where are you located? And right away, we're getting responses from our agent. And it's answering questions as expected from the knowledge base, which is exactly what we want. So one other thing I want to add about Agentive, which we've built in to make it really friendly for you as agency owners or people building and selling these solutions, is that if you wanted to make edits to that WhatsApp agent, you can now come into Agentive and you can click on edit. And what this is going to do is create a new version of it for you to play around with. When you go into edit mode, you can easily add new features and modify and test your agent without affecting the deployment on WhatsApp, which is really something that we offer and no one else does at the moment. So say you wanted to add that customer support track like checking the tracking information for the customer you could come in here and add the tool test it all with an agentive and say you wanted to just do a little fix here and change it from uh, one model to another one now i can test it in here and ask questions and these changes are not going to be pushed to that whatsapp deployment until i come down here and click the publish button so if i click publish again that's going to send all of the changes that i was able to test on agentive live to the agent on whatsapp and then I can go into the version history and see the version history that I've got. So in this version, I was on GPT-4 Mini, and in the more recent one, I've got GPT-4 Turbo. So this is how you can work on these things without affecting the existing deployment on WhatsApp, which is what no one else offers for building these solutions right now. So that's been the WhatsApp integration. Literally takes a couple clicks, not a single line of code needed. And I hope you guys can go and build some awesome solutions with this. I'm really looking forward to see what you can do. So lead generation, appointment setting, customer support, there's so much you can do with this. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do. If you have any feedback, or suggestions for Agentive, leave it in the comments below or on my school community. We are always looking for more feedback and suggestions to make this better and turn it into the ultimate platform for service delivery for you as AI automation agency owners and making sure that it's free and accessible to everyone as well. If you got some value out of this video, please leave a like and subscribe, of course, for more tutorials like this. And here's another video on how to use Agentive for a lead generation chatbot as well. So that's all with the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.